This is your captain. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. Hope you guys have had a fantastic weekend. Last night I started, okay, so I'm trying to make oat yogurt. I didn't look at a recipe or anything like that. I'm literally just experimenting. So what I did last night, I well, I basically made oat milk and you all seen me make oat milk here on my channel before. So I basically made oat milk and then I put it in a bowl set it out overnight to basic oh i also added some of my probiotic in it as well and i basically set it overnight to like do what that thing does that gives you that the the microbial and all of that properties in it so i did that it smelled awful when i just opened uncovered it it smelled awful I'm not gonna lie, not, doesn't smell like anything I wanna consume. But as I said, I'm experimenting. So I then um, boiled it in the pot while mixing it so that it doesn't make any lumps or anything like that. Cause you all know oat, oats can get lumpy. So I kept mixing it until it became a bit of a, a medium-ish text, um, texture. Cause you all know oats also gets really thick. So did that poured it out in a jar and put it in my fridge and once it's cooled down i'll check it back in about an hour and test it test it out with you guys actually maybe i'll check i'll check it back after i've done my nails because as you guys can see i took my nails off last night so i am going to do another set of the gel x today and i think i'm gonna show you guys that because i didn't show you guys how i did it in my last vlog because it was my first time doing it so i was i couldn't have film and try to do that at the same time so i'll I try i'll show you guys how i do it just remind mind you this will be my second time i'm no expert or anything like that i'm literally just learning so we'll do i'll do this with you guys and right now at this time i'm gonna have some leftovers I have some macaroni salad. This is from TGI on from TGI on Saturday when I went on. Um, in my last vlog, you would have seen it when I went to TGI with my best friend. I had waffles and chicken. So this is just some chicken remaining. This is a, a salad that I made. You guys can see it. Let me bring it closer to you guys. So leftover pasta, pasta salad. The chicken from TGI. Hold on my phone my fresh salad that i made myself and some avocado that is almost ready to go out so i'm trying to eat it out today anyway you guys 
I will pick you guys up soon. my nails I did them just the plain nude color because I just feel like absolutely simple honestly I was gonna put the glitter again but I was like okay I feel simple let's just do plain old simple nude so yeah finished them and they actually came out way better this time than they did the last time and the last time they stayed on for quite a pretty while so let's see how long these ones would stay for it's supposed to stay for like uh two to three weeks so yeah let's see how they will stay this time around the only thing i realized when i did my left my left hand I, I realized i was putting too much pressure and so if you can see under my nails there there's like a bunch of diff like um excess of the glue the all-in-one glue gel thingy there's excess of that there and well i don't have one of the e-files to remove that so i tried my best my best to get out as much as i could but some of it is stuck there but on this hand there is nothing you can see there so i did a better job with my right hand than with my left hand which is odd because i'm a right hander so yeah but i realized i was pressing down too much but when i did this hand I, w I didn't press down the nail as hard i realized i didn't have to press it down as hard i literally just put the little liquid inside and just um gently like push it down i don't know how to say it anyway <laughs> yeah as so i just um push it down gently held it there and then put it under the lamp so yeah and now this is 
the oats you got let's see. oh no it looks too thick look like I cooked it too long oh no it's moving it's moving I'm seeing movement so let's see okay okay how does it smell honestly y'all it smells like oat yogurt like oat flavored yogurt that, that's honestly how it smells so let me show you guys the texture there I'm gonna just mix it up mix up the entire thing and see okay there we go so now it's like this texture oh oh don't fall okay well this is the moment of truth now I think that this is oat yogurt. I think that is this oat yogurt. So now I have to figure out a way to make a bigger batch. I literally only use half cup of oat for this. So I guess I could use that same measurement and basically multiply in my head. But yeah, y'all, I think I did it. It literally tastes like yogurt. Well, not, not dairy one. The thing is though, like for this usually, you all know when I'm eating regular yogurt, I always buy the plain one. So I try to make plain oat yogurt as well, but it doesn't taste as good as regular plain dairy yogurt. So I think I need to add flavors to this. Next time I'm blending, I'll add some berries and stuff and see if that gives it a nice, a nicer flavor. But yeah, um, okay, let me see what I can... Zion, I'm filming. Yo, my nephew is here, that's why. The texture and everything is that of yogurt. I'm not gonna lie. And I added probiotics, so it's good for the tummy. It's like a proper yogurt. Now I'm gonna see what I have to add. So I'm gonna experiment using different flavors in making this and see how it goes. Um, I have this tiny bottle of honey here. This needs sweetener, I'm not gonna lie. Like I. Can I just eat a whole thing of this or I need to eat it with the granola but I do I'm all out of granola I already used it all so I can't try it I wish I could but I cannot try it so I'm gonna put some of this honey I have a tiny bottle of honey here I'm gonna put some of this in it no you're not going to like this trust me it is much better with the honey in it much much better mm -hmm. Zion Come and taste it. What do you think about it? Good. You like it? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Taste some, taste some more. You like that for real? Tell me the truth. You like it or you don't like it? I don't like it. Okay, wow. Okay, well y'all, you heard it from a five-year-old. He likes it. You find it tastes like yogurt? Yes. He found it tastes like yogurt to him, y'all. So. Yeah. Okay, go back and do your thing. <laughs> y'all, it tastes like yogurt to him. He likes it. He's five years old. I think. I don't know, but I think I'm a genius. Okay? I think I'm a genius. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. Wait, hold on. Not me thinking that I just came up with a recipe on my own. Maybe I, I, I need to go searching online to see if something like, if this exists, a recipe or something exists. Cause I'm here thinking, oh, I, I came up with this on my own. And next thing you know, it's already out there in the world. So let's see. I'm seeing recipes here. You got it. I hope mommy will. Well, check it out on TV. <laughs> and when I come to the kitchen, she doesn't see me by the kitchen. No, I have to blur you out because they don't. Yeah, they don't want you online. Oh well. 
<laughs> Y'all, I don't know why I did not... Oh wait, okay. This recipe calls for three cups of water, half cup of rolled oats, two teaspoons of gelatin, agar agar powder. Oh, that's to make it um, more like gel gelatin, basically. Three capsules of probiotic or yogurt starter like this one. Okay, so so far this one is not as simple as mine. But I don't understand why I didn't go on Google. I Google everything, you guys. I literally Google everything. I, I'm always on Google, okay? I'm always on Google. And I don't understand why I did not decide to Google this first before trying to experiment on my own. I guess that's just the creative part of me. I'm searching another recipe right now. But no darling, I made my own oat milk. Three tablespoons of plain oat yogurt would like... What? If you're making oat yogurt, then why are you going to buy oat yogurt with live active cultures to make oat yogurt? Does that make any sense? No. Two teaspoons of xanthan gum. Okay, yeah. See, this is why I always try to experiment things on my own because the kind of things that these recipes always call for, it's like, it's too much. It is too much. Like, why? With all that I'm searching so far, this one has potato starch. Oh my god. Okay, so with all the... I can't seem to find one that is as simple as mine. So I would say... I'm a genius. Just saying. <laughs> anyway you guys um, what am I gonna do now it is y'all I took a long time to do my nails it is literally 529 it's 529 so I think I'm going to I need to figure out what I'm having for dinner dinner I made some rice added some coconut milk powder too because I didn't have any like homemade coconut milk 
and boiled plantains, my salad of course, my potato salad and the stewed smoked chicken. So yeah, gonna have that. And now I'm gonna try the Caribbean Groot. Brute? What did I say? Groot. <laughs> yeah, so I am gonna try this now. This is perfect. Oh my gosh. This is my new favorite flavor of Caribbean. The Brute Crisp Apple. Love it. It's not very sweet and I love that about it. The Rosé was hands down my favorite, but now I think this one has taken over. When I feel for something sweet, then the rose will be my first in line. But any anyway, I'm about to have my dinner and then I'm going to get myself ready for it for bed. I already washed my dishes, cleaned my stove, y'all know. When I cook, dishes are washed, stove is cleaned before, and food is packed away in dishes before I sit down to eat. Because once I sit down to eat, None of it is gonna get done. <laughs> That's the reason why. Anyway, y'all, my sister even tried the yogurt and she said, oh my gosh, Mary, this is it. It tastes like yogurt. So, if you guys are interested in that, the recipe will be in the description box down below. Now, mind you, that recipe will be for that same size that I made because I don't, I haven't tried a big batch yet, you know, as it's my first time. So, I'll have the measurements in the description box below for you guys. Anyway y'all, talk to you guys tomorrow. I found something online that I want to try and it is none other than fried ice cream. I was like, what? Fried ice cream? Okay, I love ice cream. Ice cream is my favorite dessert, so I gotta try it. Okay! <laughs> Happy Tuesday, by the way. Hope you guys are doing well. Before we try this fried ice cream, let me tell you guys, yesterday I was just out of it. Did not feel like talking to anyone. Did not feel like doing anything. I was just down all day. I don't want to use the other D word, but that is basically how I was feeling. My emotions are just up and down. Some days I'm good, some, day, some days I'm not. So honestly, I feel like after this vlog, I won't be doing weekly vlogs for a while anymore. I think I'll just film a couple, like I'll film like when I'm feeling great, I'll just film like a day in the life vlog, or spend a day with me, that kind of thing. Or maybe like a two days vlog or something. And then when I get back, Back to be in my regular self then I'll start back filming weekly vlogs I think that's the best thing for me right now and you guys have been I know you guys are supportive you guys have been in the comment section below my videos telling me to take time for myself I really 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 want to take time for myself I honestly do however YouTube doesn't want me to because the algorithm is really messed up and once I miss upload days, it's just like my views are crap again. So I think I'll probably just have to like film one day and take six days for myself or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a tough decision because I really, I know that I need the time. So we'll see how it goes. But anyway, so to make the fried ice cream, you need to make a slurry with, this is, I found the recipe and if you all want the recipe I'll have it in the description box for you guys. I'm basically just following this recipe that I found on YouTube. So I'm, I'm gonna add some water into this flour, this is regular flour, make a slurry with it and then I also have some corn flakes crumbs here to dip it in afterwards and we're gonna fry. Now I don't have much oil for frying. This is all that I have remaining. You all know I don't really use this type of oil. I use coconut oil. But coconut oil, well, first of all, my coconut oil is almost finished and I have not seen it in the supermarket the last couple of times that I went, so I'm waiting to buy more. And this oil is what I usually buy for frying stuff. Well, not this brand in particular, just, just any right, regular vegetable oil and stuff I usually just buy for frying and stuff. But my regular cooking, I always use coconut oil or olive oil. This is all of 
this oil that I have, so I'm gonna try. So I'm only gonna be trying two scoops. I just scooped these out. These are like literally three different flavor ice cream mixed together, and this is homemade ice cream, so it will be even firmer than the regular store bought ice cream. So this is B's homemade ice cream. I have cookies and cream, strawberry, coconut, and cherry coconut mixed together, and uh, yeah. Let's tr let's do this. The rain is just coming, y'all. So please excuse the noise. Please excuse the noise. taste test this was super fast by the way like literally this took these two took under five minutes in total like the dipping and everything the whole process okay so it's still solid but there was an opening somewhere so let's see Jesus, oh my gosh, this is amazing, like amazing. Whoever came up with this idea, it's freaking fantastic. So, it's the crunch and warmth on the outside and then it's the cold and smooth on the inside. Not to mention, it is ice cream, love ice cream. Those two types of textures combined, y'all can get an even better look at it there. This is insane. I need to buy more ice cream to do this again. Y'all, it's Saturday. Happy Saturday. I wish you guys a very beautiful weekend. This vlog went on for, like I filmed too much content, so I actually did not end up picking up the camera for the rest of the week. So I just came on to tell you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe, click that notification bell, leave any of your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!